Hey Vinyl Community, um, this is my thread response to Tony, uh, Mr. Fartboy 79's thread uh, of a record that changed your life. And um, I had to think about it for a while because there's been so many records that have had uh, such an impact um, on me at certain time periods. I mean, the first thing that really got me into music was when my brother came home one night, and I don't even know why he had it because he doesn't really have been like, like hard rock or anything, but he had an 8-track of Kiss Destroyer. And I remember looking at this album cover on that little eight track, you know, knowing that there was something different about this band. Um, even though I really wasn't a big music nut by that time, but I studied it. I guess it's because maybe they looked like comic book heroes or something, but uh, I started listening to that eight track. Then one night at a department store that we had back then, I can remember seeing uh, a copy of Rock and Roll Over by Kiss, and I, and I bugged the living crap out of my mom that night. And uh, to get me that record, and she did. So um, I was kind of a kind of a Kiss fan there. And again, I didn't know if it was the makeup or the band or the music or whatever. But um, I met another kid uh, through school, and he was kind of a Kiss nut too. And we started hanging out together, and I'd go to his house, and he'd come to my house. But he had this older brother that kept his door shut all the time, locked, um, always playing music in this room. And, and I was always, you know, what's going on in there? I mean, when he'd come out, you know, he was burning incense in there, and he had posters of all these bands on his wall, and, um, man, I just knew there was something going on in there, and sometimes he'd come out, and he'd say, hey, you know, punk scram, get out of here, leave me alone, and other times he'd, he'd open the door and say, hey, come on in and hang out with us a little bit, and when you go in his room, I remember a poster of Steven Tyler out of Circus Magazine hanging on the wall and stuff, and he was always playing Ted Nugent, and... I gotta say, the album that changed my life would be Ted Nugent's first solo album, you know, after the Amboy Dukes. Uh, he was playing this album all the time, and uh, I always wanted him to play it. I always have him put it on, and, and when I finally got my hands on this and started listening to this, this is what opened me up. It took me out of that Kiss phase, but no, I can't say out of the Kiss phase. It took me from Kiss into everybody, thanks to Ted Nugent. I mean. Thanks to this album, I started getting the rest of Ted's stuff. Um, I got into Rush, uh, Cheap Trick, uh, Fog Hat, Van Halen, all that stuff. I mean, this is back in like 1978. Um, I was, you know, probably 10, 8, 9, 10 years old, and I started really getting into music heavily. But I've, I've always, always, always never gotten sick of this album. I, I love it so much. It's got so many good songs on it. Stranglehold, Stormtroop, and Hey Baby was always kind of different. Um, just What Your Doctor Ordered, uh, Snakes and Cowboys, which is what's playing right now uh, on the turntable now. That, that's Rush on the video screen. Of it. Anyway, so uh, to answer your question then, Tony, a record that changed my life because it got me into music and expanded me into so much would be Ted Nugent's first album, Ted Nugent. And I'm sure probably most of you people out there that are into rock have this. If for some odd reason you don't get it, because every song... It's just so stinking cool. So there it is. Ted Nugent. First album. Album that changed my life. Got me into music. Alright, take care.